hats off to Penn State. They were awfully good tonight. Um, you know, that's a heck of a team and, and played a lot better tonight than what I feel like they had the last couple weeks. And, and uh, you know, they serve really tough, and that's something we, you know, typically are known for. And we gave ourselves some chances and some opportunities in, in game one, you know, having a two or three point lead at times. And, um, you know, the, the, the margin for error is pretty small uh, when you get to that point and this point in the tournament. And, you know, it's hard to give up runs of points and play catch up. And, and uh, we did towards the end of game one. Then game two, we made a couple runs and got it to 21 20 and, and, you know, a couple chances to score points. And, and you, you really need to execute and, and take advantage of those opportunities and get one of the first two games. You go in the locker room with a little bit of momentum and, and, and uh, Create some, uh, um, you know, some opportunities again to, to win some of those sets. But Penn State is a lot of credit to them for what they, how they played the match tonight. Open up questions for the student athletes. Steph, you guys, you know, you guys played really hard in the first two sets, and, and they kind of just got away. What were they doing really well, and what do you think you guys needed to do to, to kind of come back and at least get one of those sets? Um, I don't know. I just tonight we would just run ourselves. I don't think. If there was anything really we could have done differently, it just didn't fall our way. And they were um, attacking the ball pretty hard and serving pretty hard, and we needed to get in the system a little bit more, I guess. But um, we just weren't ourselves in It just the energy wasn't there either. It was Penn State, you know, what you expected, what you saw, and, you know, what, what did they do really well? We were expecting a good team. I mean, everyone talks about how good they are. They show how good they are. Um, they obviously have hitters who can put the ball away. and. They did serve a little bit better than us tonight and got us out of system a little bit more, but, you know. Winning, they seemed to really attack you with the serve a lot tonight. Do you think that took you out of your rhythm a little bit? Um, a couple times, yeah. It took me out. Um. Well, you're coming back next year, and, you know, you've been to two straight Sweet 16s and played the number one seed. Going into your senior season, I know that's a – a lot to look forward to, but what do you learn from those experiences and, and kind of how, you know, looking forward? Well, the people that's coming back next year just need to remember how this feels. It's up, so you just need to. Ashley, can you talk a little bit about your game? You had some, some big kills, but I know you had, you had more errors that were difficult for you, a lot of them were really close. You know, I'm, I'm very novice in my volleyball uh, knowledge, but it looked like a lot of them were I mean, the ones you were trying to put down the line. Um, a few of them were. I think I was trying to be aggressive, and sometimes it wasn't being so smart. So when, the, when it wasn't in a place where I could take a rip at it, I probably should have just been smart and put it in play. And instead I chose to be aggressive and that resulted in quite a few errors. I'm King Pro, student athletes. You know, for, for any of the players, um, this is the second year you come into the Sweet 16 and, and face the number one. Um, I know you talk all week about coming out and, and playing your best. And, did everybody really believe that you could do this? Is there any doubt? Um, I don't think there was any doubt. I knew, we all knew that we could do it, and um, unfortunately we fell a little short today, but we all believe that we could do it. I think our crowd believed we can do it. Our coaching staff, everyone did, so I don't think it was a matter of not believing. Um, for the two seniors, obviously things didn't end the way you wanted them to tonight, um, but, but looking back, you know, you got to feel pretty proud about what you guys have accomplished in your four years. Well, your two, and then your four <laughs> years here. Can you just comment a little bit about you know your careers? <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm so happy. This is I'm gonna cry. I'm so happy I could be a part of the Wildcats and um, playing for Craig. He's a great coach, and the girls. I mean. You're not going to get a team like this. Everyone gets along, and we call each other sisters. I know it sounds corny, but we really are, so I'm going to miss them. And, you know, for this season, we didn't start off our best, and to make it to the Sweet 16, I don't think anyone even thought we would make it to the tournament. And um, I'm, I'm beyond proud of my team. 
um, when I transferred here. I came here because this was a winning program. And, I mean, that's what I got when I came here. I mean, my two years that I was eligible, we made it to the Sweet 16 both years. So I'm really happy with that. I mean, obviously I would have liked to go further, but it was a good two years. And like Steph said, like our team's so close and I love everybody that I played with and that's what I'll miss most about it. Anything else for the girls? Ladies, thank you very much. Congratulations, it was a great season. Thank you. Questions for Coach? Craig, like, like you said, the first two sets, you guys seem to have some opportunities to at least take one of those sets. What do you think it kind of got away from you guys? Uh, just, you know, the, they went back and served a couple runs of points, and then one in particular at the end, obviously, is set one. And, um, you know, each point is such a momentum builder in a, in a match like this that you need to capitalize, and, and it has to each each phase of your game. It, it can't be just attacking or just ball control, or it needs to be all phases. And, and uh, you know, when you get the chance to transition for a point and extend the lead to three points, you got to do it, you know, because Penn State's capable of running three or four points in a row and, and tying the match up pretty quickly. And, um, you know, in games one and two, I was, you know, very proud of the way we kept our composure because there's some people that weren't playing real well and, and, you know, outsides weren't able to terminate the ball the way they normally did. But, you know, I'm proud of the way Frazier and O'Connor kept being aggressive. I asked them to be aggressive. We asked them to be aggressive, and they did. And, and it didn't didn't fall their way when we had the opportunities. But, again, it's executing when you get the free ball or the or the dig and, and turning a point and extending it to three points and, and then moving on. But... Penn State had a big part of, of why we weren't able to do that. And both of those sets, it, it seemed like you guys had a, a really good game plan going in and that you guys were executing that. Did you feel that they were executing the game plan according to, to what you guys set out to do? Yeah, no question. I mean, we were um, we got them out of system a lot in the first set and gave ourselves some chances with some digs and got a few kills in transition, which, um, you know, is it really important that you get the kills in transition against um, good teams and, and something we've done a good job of all year and, and we felt comfortable and and then when they extend the lead and, and get a run of five points it just it's hard to sustain and continue to, to get three or four points in a row for us so that made it difficult but um, we asked them to be aggressive we knew we had to have some guts to take some chances and they did and we gave ourselves chances in games one and two and it didn't happen our way and game three got away from us. Looking back on, on last year, playing Texas in the Sweet 16, now Penn State in the Sweet 16, you know, what have you learned about about playing at this level and, and getting this far, and, and what do you think it's going to take for you guys to, to eventually be in the, in the, lead, the Elite Eight and, and five, eventually the Final Four? Well, we, we need to continue to develop the program and recruit great players, and um, we have a great class coming in, and, and you know, providing the belief that this program is, is going to a Final Four and, and competing for a championship. And, and, you know, when we have several players now that have been in, been in the Sweet 16, understand what it's like, understand what it takes. And, and it, we can't just start thinking about that when it's tournament time. We need to think about that when it's week one of the season and playing good teams and putting ourselves in position to win those matches so we get, you know, a better seed, you know, and, and working all season long to try and get yourself in a position where you're a top you know, a top five seed, a top eight seed, so that you can, um, you know, maybe give yourself a better chance to, to go beyond where you're at. But it's continuing to evolve as a program, and, and that's all facets of it. Our experiences like this, you know, very valuable. Obviously, a loss is a loss, but how important is, are these kinds of experiences? You know, you have to know how it feels, and I think our team did know how it felt, and, and you know, if we're able to turn a couple more points in sets one and two and, and steal a game, then then it's a completely different mindset for us. And, and you know, Penn State understands that, that uh, you know, we're for real to make this a match. And, and um, so the younger players seen it, been there, been around it, felt it, and now it's motivation for the winner. Anything else for Coach? Coach, thank you very much.